<laughs> Hello? Mike, you're having problems logging into the internet. Oh, I see you're trying to set up the agenda and you can't get it to edit. Let me get to my computer and I'll see what I can do for you. <laughs> Hello, Jason. What can I do for you? You're trying to log in to our site and set up the agenda. Okay, let me get to my computer and I'll see if I can walk you through it. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, <laughs> as you can tell from my introduction, I have received quite a few phone calls from many members around the table the last few months. And so I thought I would share with you a little bit about our website. I've entitled it, It's All About the Pencil, which you will figure out as I proceed. And I'd like to share with you how to create an agenda for a Toastmaster meeting. When I did, decided to do the research on this two months ago, I was wondering why I can't, and I'm included, I often had trouble logging into our website and getting that the editing pencil to appear and I struggled and couldn't figure out what's going on. So I spent almost a day doing research. I went to the Toastmaster website. It's called Free Toast Host 2. And this website is designed for people hmm, uh, like me. <laughs> this was working before I started, folks. So let me let me see if I can connect to the internet again. It's always a struggle for some reason in this church. Thank you, God. Okay. He's worth it. And so this is our home page. And hopefully the internet will continue to work this morning. And my intention this morning basically is just to give you a little bit of in. Uh, oversight about our website and specifically I want to walk you through the agenda and give you just a couple little secrets that hopefully will help you to log in and set up an agenda when you are the Toastmaster. First of all, in general, I kind of inherited this role when George Lepetsky kind of took absence from our group last fall. I am not an IT person by any means. So everything I've done, I've had to go and study and figure out and, and those kind of things. I'm sure some of you probably have more IT background than I do. Uh, some of the things I want to show you on the website is we're on the home page. Uh, meetings and information. If you haven't been to our website and just poked around, you should do so. Um, it tells where our meeting is at. It actually has a map for you. Um, there's a contact form. I just discovered in the last day when this is filled out, I believe Toastmasters or Arlene ultimately gets some kind of notification if someone is <clears throat> interested in our site. Next, um, if you go down, I, there's a section called Meet Our Members. And that's, I took photos of all you people, or you, you gave me photos, and then I put in a little bit of background. A couple of you still haven't given me your information. Uh, club calendar. This is an interesting calendar because it not only gives us our meetings, it also has all the district meetings and the competition in. So if you want to go in anytime and see when there's a competition, it's in here. Do you don't need. Yeah, and, and I'm sure that Steve probably has something to do with that. Yeah. So that's really nice. Um, this section here is just some PDF <laughs> downloads to help you advertise our group. And then finally, free resources takes you to the actual uh, Toastmaster International website. And this, <coughs> there are just tons of resources here for those that you have any questions about speaking, how to speak. And so really, a person should go there and study it. It's loaded with information. Back to the home page. And the next, oh, one other thing I wanted to share on, on our main area over here. I put That's our group photo from Christmas uh, two years ago. I also have links. These blue um, things are links. And if you click on YouTube, this takes you to the YouTube website that I set up for our club. 
And the reason that I video our speeches is so that we can look at them, learn from them. And so far I have 37 from the last year posted on our website. <clears throat> I do have a few. I'm behind, but it takes time to get them all up there. Go back to our website. So now I would like to just take you through the step of creating an agenda. First thing you will do is go to Logins. Remember Login, click on that. You will have the opportunity to enter your email and password. <clears throat> Some of you have forgotten your passwords. <laughs> they can be recreated, but my suggestion is write it down. <laughs> Try to remember it. Uh, I have mine set up so my computer automatically remembers my passwords. So. Okay, I am now logged in, and I'm going to pretend I'm the Toastmaster for the next meeting. The first thing you want to do is go to Meeting Agendas. Click on that. What is going to happen, you're going to come up with the agenda for the coming week. You do not need to create a new agenda. I have put agendas in for months ahead of time. Automatically, this is going to come up. It will be the next meeting. The Toastmaster, you, will go to the sign up button and the system will automatically add your name, whoever you are, to the system. Now the problem is we've all struggled with how to fill the rest of this out. <laughs> we've never been able to get the pencil to appear. The pencil indicates the editing function. And the only way I have figured out to do this is to refresh my browser and pray God this works. And see, the little pencil appears. You just need to refresh the page. Okay. Now that the pencil's there, most of our problems are solved. <laughs> Click on the pencil. That brings up another floating window. Now this is where you fill the rolls out for everything. Um, and I'll do that really quickly here, just to demonstrate, um, you go down, and it's really easy because everybody's name is provided. You just pick, pick whoever you want. I'm gonna, I, I won't go through all of these, but that, you go through the whole list, pick all your people, and this is important. The, you have to, when you're done, review it to see if it looks correct. Um, oh, a couple other things I wanna mention. You can edit this form. If there's only one speaker for today, you can delete, like say, speaker two. I can go and click on this trash barrel, and it will remove that from the agenda. And then you would also want to click on evaluator two, trash barrel, and it just shortens the agenda because it's not necessary. How do you add a speaker, a second speaker, if it's not there? Well, normally it's always going to show you it two speakers. Is. Oh, okay. So it would only be if you there's only one and you wanted to just delete it for because of how it looks. Mm -hmm. It's not a necessity. And so when you're done with that, go down. You must click save. You must click close. And the screen refreshes, and there. And I, I didn't fill these out for you, but these would all be filled out with all the roles. And I check that out. And then I go up to the envelope, which is the email symbol. And what I normally do is I, I like to send it just to myself, myself, the Toastmaster, just to make sure it looks good. It comes like within 10 seconds when you send it. And if it looks good to me, that's when I will come back to the website and I'll send it to all club members. What I often do is put a note in this section that says, fellow Toastmasters, this is the tentative agenda for the coming week. If you can't fulfill a role, please let me know. Something to that effect. <clears throat> and then I click send the email. I won't do that because you would, you would get this today. So I'll just close it. Um, so basically, that's what there's to it. And of course, you want to log back out. And say someone calls you and says, I, I can't come. All you have to do is log back in. The pencil should be there. And you can edit the agenda. So 
Anyway, I hope that clarifies things. I have made printouts for the group on cardboard stock. Oh my. <laughs> wow. <laughs> With all these steps, I call it my cheat sheet. And I want you to put these beside <laughs> your computers. <laughs> 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 And hide them. There's a place for your password and everything. Wonderful. <laughs> and so the next time you're struggling, just try and follow the steps. And what I'd like to say, I hope even if you're having troubles, do give me a phone call. And I will do my best <laughs> to walk you through um, the process of finding the pencil. Any I have, questions? I have a question. I don't press the refresher button. In yeah. order to get the pencil, I press you and other sketch projectors. There are two or three people in this room who have no problems. Mm -hmm. It just seems to come up, and I don't understand what that's all about. But mm -hmm. what do you press? I press the view and I go back to yeah, the agenda. Yeah. No, I got a no, log. I got a log. Yeah, I got a log back in though first. I can't get in without logging in. Okay. Okay. What do you press I on? press view another agenda, yes. and then I press the, press the agenda for that day. Okay. Then the pencil well, comes up. And that, you know, there, there might be other ways around this. Let's do it for next week. This is, see, now it didn't come up for me. <laughs> uh, no, but, I, but press view another agenda. I, I did. Oh, you did. I did. I went to different genre. See, I think for some people it works. Oh. I don't know if it's your browser or what. I, oh. th but those of us who have struggled, the only way I've been able to do it is refresh the browser once you've put your name as, a, as the Toastmaster for the meeting. Um, when I did my research, um, they said our site was not really set up for the Toastmaster to do the agenda. It's designed so that people will actually log in themselves and sign up. In other yes. words, oh, I think I'll give a speech this week. Mm. Click. <laughs> oh, I'll evaluate this week. Well, oh. how many of the 12 of us are going to log in mm. and sign up on our own? Mm. No one's going to do that. So, uh -huh. And I thought it was bizarre that that's how George, Toastmaster set this up. But George must have set it up. He might, may have tweaked it. I don't know. Anyway, any other questions? In the past, I've sometimes I've revised the text. And you can do that. How do you do that? <coughs> That's what I'm, I don't remember. Let, let me just go in. Let me go into one here just uh, for fun. So, oh, so um, I'm going in here. You can actually edit this form here. You can change the words for those who are brave enough to do so. Um, it involves working and stuff down here uh -huh. or... Well, I edit here, what can I do? Um, here, if you wanted to change the words, you can change them, and you've got to save them. Okay. What I put in was just th thoughts, you know, and there are many ways to give a role. I know some people like the word master evaluator. Toastmasters International uses general evaluator. That's their terminology. <coughs> and those can all be changed, but... This is just the general outline. If, if you want to change a wording or a title, you can do it for that agenda, for that day. So there are, you can do a lot of different things in here. And again, it's playing around. You're not going to hurt anything if you do that. And does that change only for that? It only changed the agenda for, for today. that particular meeting. Yeah. Right. So that can be done. You can do any kind, any, a lot of changing inside of there. Add notes, all kinds of things. But it just complicates it, you know, for all of us. But uh, it can be done. But well, complicates it only for the Toastmaster who wishes to do that. Yes. Looks like I lost my connection just in time. Um, <laughs> anyway, that's what I have for you this morning. And if there's no other questions, I'll wrap her up. Yeah.